invincible gorilla god of a jungle paradise, destroyer of cities. Godzilla, indestructible behemoth from prehistoric time, released from an icy tomb to pulverize a panic-stricken world. Now, for the first time, in one awe-inspiring motion picture, they meet the mightiest monsters of the ages, King Kong, Godzilla, locked in the most titanic battle of all time. and this is Castle Dracula at Universal Studios. <laughs> MGM was known for its lavish musicals, Warner Brothers for their hard-hitting crime pictures, and Universal for its monsters. Universal's history of horror by taking a look at some of the previews of this company's most famous and infamous fantasy films. parts of the movie going experience has always been the trailers or the previews of coming attractions which run before the main feature. These previews are sometimes better than the movies themselves and with good reason. Even the worst movie should have enough good footage to create two or three exciting minutes. Horror movie trailers are the best. Spectacular monsters, fantastic special effects, exotic rituals are all played up to the hilt to sell tickets in the most sensational way possible. I am honored to be your host for this retrospective of miniature cinema masterpieces. Mysterious Brazil, land of skyscraper cities, driving seaports, glittering nightclubs. And only a stone's throw away, the world's most savage, unexplored jungle. Its terrifying wonders brought to the screen in the pursuit of Kuruku, beast of the Amazon. Never before such sights, forbidden voodoo rites of head-shrinking savages, serpent and quatamundi in death struggle. Water buffalo in wild stampede. Never before such danger. We'd better go over to them. Come on, Andrea. Me? Why? See the attack of the man-eating fish, the piranha. The bone-crushing assault of the giant anaconda. <coughs> See white captives facing the deadliest peril of all. Kuruku, lusting beast of the Amazon. <coughs>
producers and directors often shot special footage designed specifically for their previews. Alfred Hitchcock, and I would like to tell you about my latest motion picture, Marnie, which will be coming to this theatre soon. Marnie is a very difficult picture to classify. It is not psycho, nor do we have a horde of birds flapping about and pecking at people willy-nilly. We do have two very interesting human specimens, a man and a woman. One might call Marnie a sex mystery, that is, if one used such words. Recently, newspapers and magazines everywhere carried an amazing story. Reporters saw Dr. Manley Hall hypnotize actor Lugosi to give reality to a scene in Black Friday. Horror struck, they witnessed the hypnotized actor's mortal agony as Lugosi actually experienced the terror of suffocating to death in a closet. Let me out, please! And now, a warning from William Castle, producer of The Night Walker. Do you know that a dream can kill you? Gruesome thought, isn't it? These everyday people are about to relive their dreams under hypnosis. They are not actors. Listen. All of a sudden, we walk into a room. I turn around, there's no doors. There's no windows, and I have to go home. As I go to kiss her, it seems as though we're surrounded by mosquitoes. Only he's not wearing any clothes. Charlie! Charlie, watch the bayonet! Watch the bayonet! What are dreams? What do they mean? When you dream, you wander into another world where everything is strange and terrifying. When you dream, you become a night walker. <laughs> I dare say you are wondering why I am floating around London like this. I am on the famous Thames River, investigating a murder. Rivers can be very sinister places. And in my new film, Frenzy, this river, you may say, was the scene of a very horrible murder. We'll be seeing Mr. Hitchcock again. But first... <coughs> this famous home many years ago my mother had an unpleasant experience here good afternoon here we have a quiet little motel tucked away off the main highway and as you see perfectly harmless looking when in fact it has now become known as the scene of the crime this motel also has, as an adjunct, an old house, which is, if I may say so, a little more sinister looking, less innocent than the motel itself. And in this house, the most dire, horrible events took place. I think we can go inside because the place is up for sale. Although I don't know who's going to buy it now. In that window on the second floor, the single one in front, that's where the woman was first seen. Let's go inside. You see, even in daylight, this place still looks a bit sinister. 
Now it was at the top of these stairs that the second murder took place. She came out of the door there and met the victim at the top. Of course, in a flash, there was the knife, and in no time, the victim tumbled and fell with a horrible crash. I think the back broke immediately and hit the floor. It was, it's difficult to describe the way that the, the, the twisting of the, of the, well, I, it's, I won't dwell upon it, but let, let, come on, stand. Of course, the victim, or should I say victims, hadn't any conception as to the type of people they would be confronted with in this house, especially the woman. She was the weirdest and the most... Well, well let's go into her bedroom. Here's the woman's room, still beautifully preserved. and the imprint of her figure on the bed where she used to lay. I think some of her clothes are still in this wardrobe. the son's room but uh, we won't go in there because his favorite spot was the little parlor behind his office in the motel let's go down there this young man you had to feel sorry for him after all being dominated by an almost maniacal woman was enough to drive anyone to the extreme of uh, uh, well, let's go in. Well, I suppose you'd call this his hideaway. His hobby, as you see, was taxidermy. Crow here, an owl there. Now, an important scene took place in this room. There was a private supper here. And, uh... Oh, by the way, this picture has great significance because uh, let's go along to cabin number one. I want to show you something there. All tied it up. the bathroom. Well, they've cleaned all this up now. Big difference. You should have seen the blood. The whole, the whole place was, well, it's, it's too horrible to describe. Dreadful. And I'll tell you, there's a very important clue was found here. Down there. Well, the murderer, you see, crept in here very slowly. Of course, the shower was on. There was no sound. And, Universal began producing horror films in the silent era. 
Lon Chaney's amazing performances as the Hunchback of Notre Dame and the Phantom of the Opera established him as the first great horror star. In the 40s, Universal had great success with films starring Deanna Durbin, W.C. Fields, Olsen and Johnson, Mon Pa Kettle, Sherlock Holmes, and even Francis the Talking Mule. What do you think they'll do if they're tipped you just lost a legal argument to a mule? <laughs> but the real stars of Universal's golden age were Lugosi, Cheney, and Karloff. The Mummy, the Wolfman, Frankenstein, Dracula, and all of their wives, sons, and daughters. When this dead hand moves, the monster created by a man they called Mad is turned loose to strike terror into the hearts of men. <laughs> to shock women into uncontrolled hysteria. Elizabeth! <laughs> to prey upon the innocence of children. This is the story you've heard about, talked about. The spine-tingling, blood-chilling story that stuns your emotions. Frankenstein. Don't touch that! Dracula. A moment ago, I stumbled upon a most amazing phenomenon. Something so incredible, I mistrust my own judgment. Look. Dracula. The very mention of the name brings to mind things so evil, so fantastic, so degrading. You wonder if it isn't all a dream, a nightmare. Rats. 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 Thousands. Millions of them. But no, this is no dream. This is Dracula, the original terrifying story of a maniac and a man who lived after death, lived on human blood, took the form of a vampire bat, and lured innocent girls to a fate truly worse than death. Dracula? Oh, what, what's he done to you, today? Tell he, me. He came to me. He opened a vein in his arm, and he made me drink. <laughs> Whoever is beaten by a werewolf and lives, becomes a werewolf himself. Oh, don't hand me that. You're just wasting your time. The wolf beat you, didn't he? 
Yeah. Yeah, he did. You wouldn't want to run away with a murderer, would you? Oh, Larry, you're not. You know you're not. I killed Bela. I killed Richardson. If I stay here any longer, you can't tell who'll be next. Eternal punishment for anyone who opens this casket. The mummy. Is it dead or alive? Human or inhuman? You'll know. You'll see. You'll feel the awful, creeping, crawling terror that stands your hair on end and brings a scream to your lips. Ah! There's nothing on Earth like the mummy. You will not remember what I show you now, and yet I shall awaken memories of love and crime and death. Now I know his horrible plan. He is going to kill her and make her a living mummy like himself. The studio tried every way possible to exploit its property. monsters also had their run for the money. Elsa Lanchester was unforgettable as the Bride of Frankenstein. June Lockhart was the She-Wolf of London. There were snake women, cat women, weird women, Stones, jungle gods. You don't know what you're doing. I do. Invisible women. I'm the invisible woman. And the beautiful Aquanetta as the most provocative, the captive wild woman. And suppose your experiment does succeed. What will you have? A human form with animal instincts. You know what the police do to you if they catch you? No, of course you don't. They put you on trial. Then they'll put you in the electric chair and kill you. Excuse me. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Don't answer it. Hello? Answer it. Hello? The bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki brought us abruptly into the atomic age. Space travel and the horrors of radiation spewed forth a flood of giant spiders and shrinking men. Even science was stunned. The new atomic miracle should have been mankind's greatest boon. Instead, when such power to cause phenomenal growth proved dangerously unstable, man was confronted with his most shocking blunder. The isotope triggered our nutrient into a nightmare. A blunder that transformed a tiny insect into the hundred-foot spider that was now ravaging the panic-stricken countryside.
incredible because it's almost beyond imagining. Incredible because every hour he gets smaller and smaller. Incredible because every moment the terror mounts. Universal International presents the most startling, the most imaginative and suspenseful science fiction drama ever brought to the screen. You'll marvel at the superior intelligence that unleashes its deadly ray. Dave! Dave! Or can kidnap an airplane in flight. They're pulling us up. Prisoners hurtling through endless space, speeding toward the unearthly furies of a planet gone mad. See sights never before dreamed by man. The battle between guided meteors and deadly rays. They're going to hit us. They're going to hit us. A planet doomed to destruction. Run, Ruth, run. The giant radioactive monsters of the 50s caused big trouble for a while. Chief, you gotta believe me. You're gonna think I'm blind. Rocks, but... Joe? Powers of rock crashing down and then growing up again? Yeah. What was this amazing power that could turn people into stone, that could suddenly turn inanimate rocks, stones, monoliths into growing, spreading, expanding monsters, threatening to engulf whole towns and cities, to bury all civilization under an immensity of weight beyond all calculation? The so-called deadly mantis is no imaginary scare. It's a very real and present danger. See the deadly mantis, the story of the day the world was engulfed in paralyzing terror. See a 1,000-ton insect monster hungering for human prey. Where are they? Where are the bodies? Spreading carnage across a continent. See the most astounding scenes ever filmed in The Deadly Mantis. It was almost a relief to see fish men and mole people. At least they came from the Earth. couldn't explain it, but there it was, alive, in the deep, deep waters of the Amazon. A throwback to a creature that had existed a hundred million years ago, immensely strong and destructive. A woman's beauty, the bait that brought it out of its lair. See underwater thrills never photographed before. See titanic underwater battles never dreamed of before, in this most terrifying of the science fiction adventures. The Creature from the Black Lagoon was Universal's biggest 3D hit. Its sequel, Revenge of the Creature, was also shot in 3D, but released flat when the 3D fad had faded. Even flat, the Gill Man was so successful, he returned, When the Creature Walks Among Us. The Creature Walks Among Us. Horror unleashed by the daring of man and a dangerous experiment of science. I have burned away the outer scale. 
There's a structure of human skin underneath it. The creature walks among us. The grimmest cargo ever brought to civilization. Now a monster made even more frightful by human emotion. Oh, it's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. The Frankenstein monster is probably the most popular creature in cinema mythology. Boris Karloff, Bela Lugosi, Lon Chaney Jr., Glenn Strange, and an English wrestler named Kiwi Kingston all portrayed Mary Shelley's man of many parts. If one monster makes a lot of money for the studio, two monsters should make twice as much. So in 1943, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman. Listen to me, Frank. I saw my father become obsessed by his power. He died a horrible death. There's no need for us all to storm after her. She'll come in if I ask her. Why should we treat her so fancy? She's a Frankenstein. Hey. 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 Two monsters were a big hit, and so Universal went crazy and gave us five monsters. Yes, count them five monsters in 1944's House of Frankenstein. I'm going to give that brain of yours a new home in the skull of the Frankenstein monster. This was followed immediately the next year with House of Dracula. I am Count Dracula. You see before you a man who has lived for centuries, kept alive by the blood of innocent people. When the full moon rises, I turn into a werewolf with only one desire. To kill. I tried to perform the miracle of science and failed. My blood is contaminated with the blood of Dracula. Vein is severed, not cut, but torn apart as though by powerful teeth. A werewolf. Last night I killed a man. You didn't know what you were doing. But I did. I wanted to kill. In 1941, Lon Chaney Jr. starred as the Wolfman. Chaney Jr. has the unique distinction of playing virtually every big monster of the 30s and 40s. I killed Baylor. Poor Larry Talbot, the Wolfman, the Frankenstein monster. Dracula, and the mummy. Mummy's tomb. Swamp, it's certain death. Let go of me.
Sometimes it seems as if I belong to a different world. Hey, looks like the imprint of a man's body. A big man, too. Unless I'm mistaken, a mummy was buried here. In a room beneath the chapel, I found the bodies of, of freshly murdered men. Betty, what happened? He brought me here. I was looking for Master, you. Master, I meant no harm. Find the mummy. Don't worry, the mummy will find you. You'll howl as you follow Bud and Lou in a strange land where exotic dancers perform ancient rituals. You'll scream at this mystic world of mad magic and uproarious adventure. Does this mean anything to you? It means death to whoever holds it. <laughs> Starring Bud Abbott and Lou Costello, with sultry Marie Windsor giving you your first look inside Costello. Turn on the lights. Let's stop fooling and cut them off. And Peggy King, George Goebel's TV girlfriend. You blew in from the Middle West and certainly impressed the population here about. Imagine Lou trying to be charming to a snake. And Bud at the end of his rope. Stop blowing! No! What is dynamite? Get the hand on it! Count Dracula sleeps in this coffin, but rises every night at sunset. Chick is right. This is awful silly stuff. Come on, take it all out. Wow! And we got Chick! Come on! What's the matter? What's Come on! Wait a minute! The nation's top comics, Abbott and Costello. Petrified, but hilariously. <laughs> dangerous and terrifying wolf man, played by Lon Chaney. Plus that fiend out of a nightmare, the vampire Batman, Count Dracula, played by Bela Lugosi. Plus the most dreaded creature of them all, the Frankenstein monster, played by Glenn Strange. Plus a couple of luscious but designing females in the spookiest laugh fest on record. and Costello come face to face with horror that turns into wild hilarity when they battle the master monster of them all. See Bud Abbott and Lou Costello meet Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, co-starring Boris Karloff, an uproarious riot at your movie theater. Excuse me. Hello? There's an enemy spy at large, an invisible man. It's, it's amazing. Oh, you will be of great help to us. Who is this terrifying Phantom Commando? What is his amazing mission? See The Invisible Agent, suggested by H.G. Wells' Invisible Man, starring Ilona Massey and John Hall, with Peter Lorre, Sir Cedric Hardwick, J. Edward Bromberg, Albert Bosserman, in the most amazing story of our time. Ah! Let him get away. Are you? Gazunta. Who is there? How did you know I was going to England? I didn't, but. So but the I... trap was all set, eh? Oh, Frank, how can you talk like that? Oh! oh what's this? I... It's full of hooks. I... Oh, they're tearing into me. I...
Hello. Hey, listen, there's a lot of funny business going on out here that I think you ought to look into before it's too late. I say that if you were injected with this, you'd revert to a primitive anthropoid, physically as well as mentally. One scientist dared investigate the incredible phenomena. Our pet dog reverted to an antediluvian wolf. Look at those teeth. That dog is a throwback. Our simple dragonfly had become a winged monster of a species extinct for millions of years. Now, before your very eyes, see a man revert to a half-human anthropoid from the dawn of creation. A monster leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. Oh, it's impossible. Nobody's got a footprint like that. I'll rest when I find the killer. Well, that's not your responsibility. That belongs to the police. Madden, I know what I'm doing. Even he did not suspect the incredible truth. Neither did the police, nor the girl coming to keep a lover's rendezvous. <laughs> Empire can assume very many different forms at will. Sometimes it appears as a bat, and sometimes as a small cloud of swirling vapor. In this way, it can move unseen among its enemies. Son of Dracula, searing the screen with new terror in this weird tale of the living dead who rise from the grave at night to prey on unsuspecting victims. Count Alucard is immortal. Through him, I attained immortality. Through me, you will do the same. Look at me. What do you see in my eyes? Death. Do you like jewels, Lily? This is very old and very beautiful. Please don't come any closer. I... always looks good. And if there's an explosion in the picture, you can be sure it'll show up in the trailer. I hope you don't mind if I have something to eat, but I'm rushed today. Planning the lecture has been most educational for me. I've begun to feel very close to the birds and have developed a real sympathy for our little... What was I saying? Oh, yes. I've come to feel very close to the birds and have come to realize how they feel when... I don't think I'll eat just now. Hardly proper with all of you here. Surely the birds appreciate all we've done for them. Don't you? Beautiful cage, fresh water, no other birds to bother you, none of that blinding sunlight. Oh, now why would he do that? Most peculiar. What on earth?
E.T., the extraterrestrial, has gone beyond success to phenomenon. Director Steven Spielberg talks about his film. It has a lot to do with a visit to this planet from somewhere else by a creature who becomes lost. His ship leaves without him, and he's stranded here on Earth. And uh, attracted by the lights of suburban civilization, drawn to that, he uh, is discovered by a young boy. your own shadow now, because I want you to get your shadow right on the wall there. You can see yourself when you're walking in. Okay? Okay. Uh, let me see down to one so I can see what I'm going to see. Uh, did you touch that leg back? More yes. More? There's a, there's almost a psychic, you understand the word psychic? You know, you know, ESP? Yeah. There's almost a psychic attraction. You're not sleepwalking, you're not dreaming, you're really conscious, but something is making you brave. Something's making you get closer and closer to the porn star. Although I would use a flashlight as a weapon, meaning, meaning, if you're afraid, I think rather than holding the flashlight comfortably down here, you hold it out like that. It's kind of like a lance, you know, a magic user lance. You know, as you as you walk through here, and I would just, I, I would come out of the house this way. I'm going to have you walk down the porn sideways, looking in here, and actually you'll be making the beam go across the lens, which looks very pretty. And also, it's kind of scary. Elliot's a, a victim of a separated household. His father's in Mexico with another woman. And his mother's uh, trying to recover from the trauma of the separation. And he's, he's, he's within a suburban American household. He's an abandoned child. Pretend that it's, it's nothing more than an animal. It's some sort of a deformed cross between a coyote and a rabbit. All of a sudden, it's showing great intelligence. And that cracks you up. What makes it unique is that it's a love story between a young boy and a six to eight hundred year old extraterrestrial. Jaws, the movie by Steven Spielberg, is undoubtedly the most successful monster movie of all time. Universal is carrying on its tradition of fantasy films with such recent releases as... <laughs> movies and remember they'll be coming soon to a theater or drive-in near you.
better go over to them. Come on, Andrea. Me? Why? 